the AR-1, developed by China's state-owned defense contractor, Norinco, represents a significant evolution in multiple large rocket system technology. Originating from the BHL-03, which itself a Chinese version of the Russian BM-30 Smurge, the AR-1 has quickly become an integral part of modern artillery systems with enhanced capabilities and potential for export. First introduced in 2009, the AR-1 series has expanded to include various progressive versions, including the AR-1A and AR-3, each offering modular designs and improved battlefield effectiveness. The AR-1 was designed to provide the People's Liberation Army with a more mobile and flexible artillery system. Based on an 8x8 heavy-duty wear chassis, the AR-1 is designed for rapid mobility across diverse terrains. The vehicle accommodates the crew of four, housed in a forward set cabin that offers protection from shrapnel and small arms fire. The AR-1's defining feature is its 300mm rocket launcher, consisting of 10 lot trips mounted on the rear of the vehicle. The launcher is trainable, allowing for directional adjustments without having to move the entire vehicle. For additional stabilization during firing, hydraulic recoil legs are lowered and the system can quickly launch its entire payload, making it a potent tool for aerial saturation. The AR-1, like other MLRS systems, is designed to target and overwhelm enemy positions with large volumes of firepower. Its 300mm rockets can be armed with various warheads, including high explosive, fragmentation, and cluster munitions. These rockets are highly effective against both personnel and ammo vehicles, making the AR-1 ideal for suppressing enemy artillery, destroying infrastructure, and neutralizing concentrations of enemy forces. Norinco continued to enhance the AR-1 with the introduction of the AR-1A, a modular variant. One of the most innovative aspects of this system is its ability to replace the entire launcher unit in the field. This modular design eliminates the need for each lot trips to be reloaded individually, significantly reducing reloading time and allowing for a much higher rate of fire. The AR-1A retains the 300mm rocket system but adds a new level of battlefield flexibility with its quicker reloading process. Following the AR-1A, the AR-12 variant was introduced, boasting an extended range capability. The AR-1 system retains the modularity of its predecessor, but enhances the engagement range of the rockets to approximately 130 km, an improvement that expands the system's operational scope. The extended range allows for deep strikes against enemy command posts, supply lines, and artillery positions from a safer distance. The AR-3 represents the latest evolution of the AR-1 series. This version supports not only the 300mm rockets of its predecessors, but also introduces a larger 370mm rocket with lot trips reduced to 4 for the larger caliber. This increase in rocket size translates to a longer range and heavier warhead options, offering even greater destructive power. The AR-3 is designed for maximum flexibility in a variety of combat scenarios, including counter-battery fire, suppression of enemy air defenses, and destruction of high-value targets like ammo formations 
and 45 positions. Since its introduction, the AR1 series has seen limited yet impactful operational deployment. The People's Liberation Army has incorporated the AR-1 into its artillery brigades, leveraging the system's ability to engage enemy forces over extended distances with devastating accuracy and firepower. The system's guided rocket munitions, coupled with improved mobility, provide China with a significant advantage in terms of rapid artillery deployment a long-range precision strikes. The AR-1 and its variants are believed to be deployed primarily in areas where rapid response and extended-range fire support are critical, such as in border regions or during military exercises, showcasing Chinese firepower. One of the AR-1's most notable operators outside China is Pakistan, which acquired the export version of the system, known as the A100E. This acquisition further strengthens Pakistan artillery capabilities, particularly in its ongoing regional tensions with China, with India. The A100E has provided Pakistan with a highly capable, long-range MLRS system complementing its existing anterior and missile forces. The AR-1's design and capabilities reflect the changing nature of modern warfare, where anterior systems are expected to provide more than just indiscriminate area saturation. With its support for guided rocket munitions, the AR-1 series is capable of precision strikes, making it a versatile tool for both offensive and defensive operations. The ability to deliver large volumes of fire over extended ranges allows it to engage enemy artillery, air defense systems, and infrastructure from a distance, reducing the risk to its operators. The AR-1 series also plays a significant role in counter-battery operations, where its rapid deployment and firing capability can be used to neutralize enemy artillery before it can reposition. Its long-range rockets and guided munitions gives commanders the ability to sharp the battlefield from afar, disrupting enemy supply lines, command posts, and defensive positions. The AR-1 series has strong potential for export, particularly to countries seeking cost-effective alternatives to Western and Russian MLRS systems. Norinco's reputation for delivering affordable, reliable military hardware has made China a popular arms supplier in regions such as Southeast Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The AR-1's modularity, extended range, and support for precision-guided munitions make it a competitive option for nations looking to bolster their long-range artillery capabilities. <laughs>